Ebony on Ice blew into Chicago's Auditorium Theater just in time to kick off Black History Month. It is the first ever all-black performance on ice featuring some of the world's most renowned skaters and entertainers. What we wanted Ebony on Ice to be, telling the history of our people through the anthology of our music, telling the history of blacks in ice skating and expressing our nature in ice dancing, not just figure skating, but also ice dancing. And with a fabulous array of costumes, a fabulous light show, and taking all these components and combining them, we felt that we had a tremendous product, which we named Ebony on Ice. This year, French sensation Saria Bonillet joins the cast. She brings a wealth of experience and delivers some powerful skating performances. Syria Bonalay is a three-time Olympian. She is a, a gymnast, a dancer, and a figure skater. And when you take all of those talents and put them on ice, you see things on ice from her that you don't see from other skaters. She um, brings to our show, she takes this show to another level because in essence, she's really a show by herself. Yolanda Kelly rarely has a chance to sit. She works behind the scenes and wears many hats in order to make Ebony on Ice a smashing success. They brought me in last year as a performance director and then this year I'm back as choreographer and a costume designer and director for the show. So I basically keep everybody in line, teach them all the steps. Uh, we picked out all the music and uh, got everybody together and costume fittings and just brought everything together so we could have a show here. The brilliant skating performances are complemented by her fabulous costume design. I had a flair for it anyway because I've done so many shows in the past. I kind of knew what I was looking for, what works in the show and it would be easy for the skaters to be in so it, it's not scratchy, it's not pulling, and it, they can jump and spin in the costumes. Yolanda can even take to the ice when needed, but reveals there's somewhere else she'd rather be during the production. You know, I'd rather be in the audience. You'd rather be in the audience? <laughs> rather be in the audience, but we need people, so I'm there. The cast of Ebony on Ice are made up of a group of hard-working youngsters. Many were influenced by skaters they saw during the Olympics. Nancy Kerrigan was clubbed in the knee and all that controversy, and that's when I started watching skating. And music wasn't really what I was used to skating to, but uh, thanks to Larry, he really helped me with the choreography and really pulled it off. Brittany Edwards loved the reception the skaters received from the crowd at the Auditorium Theater. Oh my God, it was such an experience. Um, the first opening night was amazing, but since it was the last show and all the emotions of um, getting through the whole week of practices and all the performances and saying, hey, this is the last one and just putting all your energy into it, it was phenomenal. And um, with all the people in the audience, they were so enthusiastic about the performances that we did, it was amazing. I was a gymnast before skating and I watched it on TV and um, it took a while for my mom to say yes for me to skate because she thought I would go out and try eventually did now as you see and um, so I saw it on TV and I think it was the Olympics and uh, I just went out and did it. At age nine, Chelsea Ridley has already been skating for half her life. She hopes her hard work will one day lead to an Olympic berth. Train, training and practicing almost like every day, twice every day. From probably early in the morning to 
probably late at night. I want to continue ice skating and be an Olympic champion. Chicago native Chrissy Lipscomb learned to skate at a familiar downtown hangout. Outside one day with my dad, we were going Christmas shopping and we saw Skate on State downtown and I decided to go out and try it and got hooked on it ever since. It's not really about, okay, I'm skating and that's it. I just want to try to touch every single person in, this, in the auditorium theater to make them feel like, oh, wow, that was awesome. Because if I didn't do that, then I, felt, I feel as though I didn't do a good job. But when it comes to everyone's favorite routine, the choice is unanimous. Ebony on Ice will be performing twice daily from February 7th through February 16th. From the Auditorium Theater, downtown Chicago, I'm Andrea Randall.